Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the PCOS supplements that I take. Um, as I currently said in one of my first few videos, I do suffer from PCOS. So I'm going to take the time out today to share with you su the supplements that I take. So here we go. So the first thing I do take is a healthy prenatal. I try to take one that has straight folate, not folate acid, just because I feel like it's more important for me to have the organic chemical instead of um, um, man-made chemical, as I should say. So I do take these, um, and they do have um, DHA, DHA in them, so um, I heard that's really good. And from what I've researched, it's a great product. So I've been taking these. Um, I think I only have like <laughs> one left as I show on the bottles empty so I do take these regularly um, don't worry my next supplement shipment is already on Amazon and on its way here so I take that um, I do follow up with that with a good um, multivitamin I take Geritol um, so yeah it's a pretty strong one I like it. it's an inex inexpensive um, you can get it about anywhere. Uh, a lot of your grandmas have used it. Of your grandmas probably has used this. So your mom may have used this. So I take Geritol. The next thing I take is a good healthy CoQ10 pill. I got these at Walmart. Um, I only have a few of these left. So that is what I take. Um, so then after that, I do have an NA c pill that i take regularly i take these three times a day this is the brand i choose to take um if i'm being quite honest they smell horrible i only have a handful of these left as well so we sell the bottle it's pretty empty i take these on the regular um with these i take three a day um sometimes i split them up but most majority of the time i don't if i'm being completely honest i know that you that's what you're supposed to do but Sometimes your girl just don't have time, so I just don't. So the next thing I take is a um, palm, saw palm. This is supposed to help with the hair growth under like those problem areas. I tend to get extra hair growth when it comes to like under my chin and my chest area. So I've been taking these for a while. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really tell if they work or not. Um, this is my second bottle. Um, so I'm um, down to the last four pills. Um, you take two at a time. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase this, but this is something I was taking. I can't really tell if it was slowing down my hair. Like, I don't know. Like, my hormones are already unbalanced. So maybe it was helping. I would suggest it probably was because my periods are between 28 and 31 days. Like clockwork. Um, and I've been checking ovulation and everything and not nature. So... I would suggest they work, but like as far as hair growth, I can't really see a difference. I still get hair on my problem areas, um, and that doesn't seem like that's going away. So I don't know if there's anything I can do or any supplement that would really help with that. But um, this is what I was taking because a lot of women say it does help. But like I said, maybe I need to take it more than two or three months. I'm not 100% sure. The next thing I do take is this. Um, I bought this on Amazon. It does help with my um, blood sugar levels. I've noticed that it's helped with my, rash my rashes. As I said before in my videos, I do tend to get a rash when I have too much sugar in my system. So when I know I'm going to have like a sweet treat or anything like that, I tend to take um, two of these just to try to help with that um reaction and so far it's been helping wonderful like my skin hasn't been acting up i haven't had that much sweets but when i do like i say i grab this to ensure that my body doesn't have a reaction to the sugar um let's see if this will focus okay and last but not least, um, a lot of people have been talking about myo-inositol, decaro-inositol, things like that. Um, I was taking a different brand. The brand I originally started taking were these. And I did have a reaction to these. Like, um, not allergic reaction, but when I first started taking these, I was just taking the myo. And I noticed that it made my period, like, skip a month. So I don't know if that was just because the hormones or getting on new supplements, but I did not really like that. So I switched to this brand because it has D-Cairo in it as well. Um, not gonna lie, ladies, this brand is very expensive. Um, I haven't seen that many reviews on YouTube about it. I was doing some research and found that, that the people that um, 
sponsor this product or have made this product um go hard for PCOS and that's their main goal is to help women get their body balanced so I did try these um like I said they were expensive I am out I'm not sure if I'm gonna repurpose um rebuy this repurchase this um it was sixty dollars um and it has mild inositol plus d and inositol in one pill i do take two a day the recommend dose is one but when i talked to them and told them my weight issue and my height they recommended themselves for me to take two instead of one so that originally made this um a 60 60 um pill monthly pill for two months down to one month for me so i would suggest if you are over like 150 from what they told me they do recommend you take two so then in that in that instance you instantly become a i'm gonna say you instantly have to take two so it only becomes a one month supply so for 60 dollars for one month i'm not sure if it's really worth it but i did take these religiously um like i said i have a regular period i've been having a regular period for some time now so i don't know if this is the cost so like i said i've only been taking this for a month and my regular periods have been about mm, i want to say six months so take it or leave it um that is what it is so as far as like my periods go um i know a lot of people wonder like hey you take all these supplements how has it been working for your periods and stuff like that and i'm just gonna list like some um areas that i've noticed have been improvement since i've like changed my lifestyle started eating healthy exercise a little bit more i'm not a big exercise person like i used to be when i was younger and fitter um but it is what it is i'm just being honest um so of course like most women i have several apps on my phone that tells you like what is the average number of period days like is my period regular is it irregular so the app that i use a lot is called my days it's not the best app i already know this and it doesn't like pinpoint exactly for me when i ovulate except this month it did because like i said my periods have been regular clockwork for like six months now so um that is a thing that I have noticed. I don't know if it has to do with the supplements or in me just being in a better headspace or exercising more in those natures. I try to eat a more low carb diet. Um, I tend to stay away from sugars. The only thing that's hard about sugars for me is the fact that I am addicted to coffee. I love coffee. If I can have it 24 seven, I would. And that's just me being honest. Um, so if you go to my day's apps, you can see my cycle history. My average day, like sorry ladies, I'm not trying to put all my business out there. My average length of cycle is a 27 day cycle. Um, most of my days range from um, 26 all the way up to like a 25 day cycle. Um, 31 day cycle it just varies but it's usually between 28 and 31 days like clockwork nothing ever changes um so thank you so much for taking the time out to look at um to watch me understand what i take as far as pco supplements um hope you stay tuned for further videos oh and by the way ladies i have recently purchased these these lovely um strips i've started them i've done them for two days and hopefully white in my teeth i do plan to get braces so please don't come from my mouth i already know it needs to be fixed i'm working on it but i do i did did place an order with these and hopefully soon i will be doing a review on how i feel about this um so stay tuned thank you for watching i hope you hit that subscribe button because it's free it doesn't cost you anything it helps me out and um thank you so much and stay tuned for further videos bye